Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Groggy voice means I'm in the bed. Y'all already know it, but I'm getting it done. So today I'm doing my sister's nails. Girl, it's August and she's still on her hot girl summer. So we're gonna give her some real cute hot girl nails because she got this little pink. Let me insert the picture. Yes, so cute. It's She got this little Willy Wonka fountain thing going on. It's so fucking cute, that color bomb install bomb this was by my other sisters i'm gonna have their information linked down below hopefully one day when they get it together they'll be on youtube but for now i'm gonna just have to show y'all pictures that was fire anyways oh yeah there go a little sneak peek of the nails that we're gonna do today i uh, see how they go perfectly let's get into it so this is a custom mix uh this milky color i just did about three scoops of clear and one scoop of white. It was actually really, really perfect. I loved it because it's like white, but not too light. I had some in the past where it was still like really, really light and it was, it kind of looked ashy. It looks ashy instead of milky. This was a perfect ratio, and once again, I did about three scoops of whatever. It don't matter if you do three pours and you just pour it for one second. Just do it consistently. So three scoops of clear and one scoop of white, you know, one little dab of white. And really mix it as you go. You play with it. It's your formula. You mixing it. It's custom, so you get as light as you want. If you see that you got too much white in it, add a little more clear. You know, if you feel like it's too opaque. Is that the word, guys? Let me know. I just double-checked on Google. That was the word. Uh -huh, look at me, y'all. I've really been trying to expand my vocabulary. You know I can't be be a little dummy. Just kidding. I don't want to use the word dummy. But, you know, just expanding my vocabulary. I just feel like I got a real, a real, real long life to live. Like, you know, I'm only 20, so I'm going to have a lot of conversations with a lot of various people. And I can't keep on using this same old, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm -mm. So, yeah, I be really trying to. Expand my vocabulary. I've been reading a lot of books that have very, very... I'm talking about adult books, like big words, guys. I got to read those books a little slow, though. When I'm reading those books, I really find myself remembering the words that I see. If I don't know a word, I look it up and then try to get a better understanding of the sentence, reread it, and boom, that's how you read an adult book one-on-one. You learn... I feel like y'all learn a lot from me, so subscribe. Anyway, so this first nail, I will say that application was not my best i only say that for this set because i usually don't use my small brush i really want to say this is a number 10 and i got it from alpha brush i know for sure it's from alphabrush.com but i think it's number 10 and i usually use a size 18 for a big for a long set a bigger brush for the longer set because y'all it saves so much time so if you're a beginner i recommend a size 8 or 10 to work on small to medium nails and then you might as well go ahead and start uh, practicing with a bigger brush because the longer nails, if you want to start practicing with long nails, go ahead and save your time and start with the big brush. Because, I mean, you can do it with a small brush if that's what you prefer, but I really think you save a lot of time grabbing bigger beads and your application is a lot smoother because you're not applying as many beads. So, yeah. Consider this the most important part when doing application. You got to get those sides in. You got to get those sides tucked. Get them in. Like, do not let the acrylic go outside of the shape that you already have. Also notice how I don't immediately rush to get off the excess acrylic at the end. You see how I'm still playing with the acrylic around it before I go ahead and swipe her on off. That's because I really think it gives, okay, let me try to explain this. It gives 
the acrylic enough time to really set and harden a little to get a form to get it thick enough because you don't want the edges thin and uneven you want an even amount of acrylic so zoom in you see how it's at the very end of the nail it's a good amount of acrylic it's not thin and uneven it's a good thickness yeah i really feel like that really helps get that crispy real crisp shape because if the acrylic is real real thin on the ends that shape just don't give it just don't give if it's not even if it's not even it could be a little thinner and still give but if it is not even and what i mean by even is your left point and your right point and i don't i don't really care to explain because that should you see the point it's a left one and the right one right so i don't want to hear no questions but just make sure the acrylic is level the same amount of levelness is that the right word y'all let me know <laughs> the same amount and make sure it's even and flat which is another reason i also like to go in with the hand file instead of the drill when i'm filing the ends of the nails we'll get into that into a little bit more into the video but yeah Also, I didn't record how I put these tips on because I'll also go ahead and link the video that I watched to achieve these double tip. And yeah, I'll link her video. I'll link her YouTube video down below where her name is Tip Top Shape Nails. And I also subscribe to her on here. She's really, really fire. Y'all should go check her out. But yeah, if you want to see how I did these double tips or the original version, I should say, Go watch her video and that's how I did it, but I didn't record it.
and here is my finished application i think her right hand was my favorite one i believe so i know whichever one i didn't record is my best one because recording is so aggravating but i do it for y'all let's get into the filing and as i said before you know we, we're not really doing too much we're not doing too much we're going in lightly just to really clean it up okay i had somebody in my dm ask me how i fixed my application not that it was broken but <laughs> i'm uh i'm just cleaning it up so the unevenness on the side or where it's not level or where it look lumpy this is the filing it's job sole purpose of filing a very a, a essential step when shaping go ahead and flip your client's hand where it's this angle so you can really see how it looks for how it is okay it looks can be deceiving and you you want the real spill so i promise you flip her hand up and you you gonna get the real spill it can be humbling at times but it's for the best so do that So this is the part where I'm uh, evening in it. Evening. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why words is kicking my ass today. <laughs> Probably because half of the time my thoughts stay in my mind. Like they really don't come out of my mouth. So talking is really new to me. I keep my mouth closed, y'all. I'm a quiet person. I don't talk a lot of nonsense. I really keep a lot of things to myself. Opinions, thoughts ideas occasionally i'll share an idea for y'all to go around with but overall everything stays in my head safe <laughs> unfiltered so before it comes out of my mouth it'll play in my head for a little bit okay this is what i call self-evaluation okay back to the nails mary back to the nails so here i'm just filing um basically what i did with the hand file but I'm going more uh, at an angle to get it slim, to get it slim looking on the sides. And yeah, um, it was kind of uneven, especially because this was my first time trying these double tips like this. So, you know, it's a first try for everything. I also tried to clean out the bottom. You seen where it was like a little split. Just try to file out the excess tip so it's looking neat under there. That's important. Now I'm going in with my 4 in 1 cuticle bit, and I'll have that link down below. You can find this off Amazon. Um, just to seal the cuticles, you know, I'm just going around, touching the very, very base of where the acrylic starts. Going in at an angle so I don't flatten it. You see how I'm still going? Hold on. This song's going to be stuck in my head now, but it was 100% worth if I get... A copyright strike wow i didn't even think of that it was worth it though anyways yes you're going in circular motion so we don't flatten the top This right here is so important. Go ahead. You see how I changed the position? See how I focused on the left side? And then I focused, I refocused the drill to the right side, but at the same angle. Look at it. See the angle? You get it? Are you getting it? It makes a lot of sense in my head, but y'all gotta let me know if I'm really translating this right. Yeah. Just watch though. It's pretty easy. This is fun. You really just have to go in with a light hand and a light speed and sculpt your perfection. This is the thing I love about nails. Every single step is a process that you have to trust and you have to take meticulously. Let me know if that's the right word. Yeah, I'm really getting I'm really getting confident over here. I'm warming up. Make sure you clean both the left side of the nail of underneath the nail 
and the right side of underneath the nail and also in the middle and yeah here i'm just looking seeing what else i can go in and perfect you know you you don't stop filing until you you're satisfied until you're like now nah, now nah, don't over file okay but really step back you see how many times i take her hand and just look at it step back and look at your work and see what needs to be fixed if it ain't broke don't fix it please be, look how beautiful trust the process baby and i'm gonna glide her hand gracefully back into this humbling position once she's approved we go on to the next step Also guys, I know it's not a conventional way to file your nail up and down, to use the drill up and down. I know a lot of people will use the technique of going side to side. Um, the left side of my brain just cannot grasp the concept. Yet, I'm working on it, but for now, it's like since the beginning, I have been filing up and down. If you do it real, real lightly, you're really not doing much uh, damage, you're not really flattening it. If you do it at the right angle and file at the right places, it's fine. This is just my method. But gliding this e-file from the right side of the nail to the left, it, I don't know guys. I, maybe, you know, I'm gonna learn eventually and y'all gonna be here to witness it, but this is what we got for now, all right? Let's get back into it.
I now hand her this scrub brush and so she's gonna go scrub her hands really really well with soap and water underneath her nail as well as well as around the cuticles just get all the excess and dust off so we can have a smooth canvas for this beautiful nail addict paint vegan free nail polish guys all right i got a code for you guys down below check them out please they have beautiful colors um i have the name of this color linked down below also but i'm just starting with these flames i did sketch it i always sketch my art first especially if it's something i haven't did in a while i will eventually get better with flame but i think these are pretty neat We're gonna work smart and not hard, guys. Okay, so I went and I went in with the detailed brush and did the detailed areas, and now I'm just filling it in very thinly so I don't have to go and just paint over that whole wide area with that tiny brush. That's aggravating. Life is too short. Work smart, not hard. Also, I really try my best to do it thinly because gel polish will uncrisp a crisp shape so fast okay in my opinion i think if you apply it you know real thick you just have to apply it really really thin here i eventually just stopped playing with it because i realized i'm about to put some glitter over this anyway so it's not going to be as crisp as i like it but yeah i just continued with that still be sure to go in with a small amount of gel polish when painting the ends Also, let me point out a mistake I did. I did not put the top coat first because I am putting a loose glitter over this paint. So I want to go ahead and put my top coat first. Y'all remember those red uh, Vita press ones I did? Same thing, same concept, same Mary, same brain. I forgot. <laughs> I don't know why I do the things I do, but I do. So yeah, I learned. I know. I know better for the next hand. You know, I, I love that. Humans have two hands, I get a second chance. So I'm going in with the top coat and then I will paint. And I'm doing so many swipes with this because I'm just getting a lot of length 
in like little specks and it aggravates me bad i know i have her scrub her nail and all but you see that little speck they i don't know where them, i don't know where they come from it's like i'll clean the nail actually i didn't wipe it with alcohol that was why yes i did i don't know if i did I don't know if I did, but you're supposed to wipe it with alcohol, guys. That'll get rid of the lint completely. But I do believe I have pieces of lint or specks in this brush from like a set or two I might have did. And it might have just get, got caught in there and I scooped it up, you know. So be aware of that. Now, after I put a nice top coat on these or a base coat, you know. uh, No, a top coat. I say top coat because these two nails are pretty much finished. All I have to do is paint and put the glitter over the paint and then I'll be done. So we need that top already done, glossy finished. So a top coat and I'm going ahead and paint over it. now going in with some pink glitter this is from i believe itsybitsyglitter.com i found this lady off of tiktok she sold me with her i believe chevy is something it's a red glitter though and i used it for the other ones the red v-tip oh this glitter is so pretty and it's so much and it wasn't that expensive at all i recommend y'all check out her shop if it is still up and running, I bought this some months ago. So I'm going to see if it's the same link and everything, same price. I'll have that figured out by the time y'all are watching this. So just scroll down below and yeah. Oh, I had to go ahead and put the top coat over that already painted design. So I kind of had to go in and repaint over this design. 
you know, uh, once again, learn from my mistakes. I just wasn't thinking. Now I have to go in and double the work. Okay, but that's fine. You know, I just went ahead and stuck it out. Redid it. Still took my time. Sometimes you've got to really work through your mistakes. You know, you make a mistake, but you can't just forget about it. You know, one thing I did learn in adult life, you cannot run. You just got to sit there and take it and fix it. You know, don't don't beat yourself up about a mistake too bad because it's fixable. Mistakes are about learning. Life is about learning. So in order to learn, we do got to mess up. You know, this was an unconscious thing I did. Hopefully next time I will be more aware. But you know, the next mistake that comes, I'm ready for it. I'm not going to beat myself about it. I'm going to take it and face it because I ain't no punk. My mom ain't raised no punk. Yeah. I'm gonna sprinkle on this glitter straight out the pack. Oh, it's so pretty. Y'all look, I make such a mess. I, I really make a mess when it comes to art and glitter, but it really be worth it, okay? I don't try to avoid it, but I do try to do things to minimize it, which is why I got this little tool, which obviously doesn't help. It helps a little bit, but you know, I still get glitter everywhere and I'll see it for the next week or the next few years. Okay, so we're dusting them off super pretty i was not really too concerned about the oh look at that you go mary i really be doing this sometimes okay i wasn't really too concerned about the pinks matching because it didn't matter in my head it was going to be cute either way i don't even know why i would even panic about some little stuff like that so yes now i'm adding some rhinestones i did choose to drag it down i feel like that's really an elegant dramatic look especially because this set was a little plain you know i didn't plan on doing too much anyways um but it was gonna be really cute it is really cute so yeah i'm just placing one by one i believe these were like a size five rhinestone yeah these really uh i did them all the same size i know usually you'll start big and then go down with smaller rhinestones but i love the consistent clean look of the round cuticles and the same size rhinestone before I couldn't do that because my rhinestone containers were never organized y'all I used to knock them holes over every other day like I just never could keep but you know I'm I'm really growing now like I'm really an adult now guys I don't spill stuff as often I don't knock things over as often I really take my time now especially with things you know we learn like i learned guys it's learning is so important it just makes your life better okay take every experience as a learning experience everything that you're tired of which just ask yourself what you're gonna do to make it better like everything in your life right now if you're not happy be like well what am i not happy about well what can i do to make it better you know one by one Ask yourself these questions, write it down. Not me, not me giving y'all therapy or whatever. But yeah, just to give y'all a little advice, really learn yourself. Learn yourself, learn your problems, evaluate, always be in evaluation. Every day, I think of how I can make things easier for myself. Because y'all, this motherfucker ain't no joke, okay? I, no, nobody really could have prepared me for the adult life. And I know I talk about it so much, but... It's so hardcore. It's so hardcore. Like, it's so hardcore. It's lovely. I love it. I love being on my own. I love being grown. I love doing what I want to do. I just, it's, I love it. But, you know, with that comes hardships. And, yeah, hopefully I can give a little advice to somebody who might be. Um, I'm going to just, yeah. Let's go ahead and finish this up.
But yeah, just to give y'all a little advice, really learn yourself. Learn yourself, learn your problems, evaluate, always be in evaluation. Every day, I think of how I can make things easier for myself. Because, um, y'all, this motherfucker ain't no joke, okay? I, n- nobody really could have prepared me for the adult life. And I know I talk about it so much, but it's so hardcore. It's so hardcore. Like, it's so hardcore. It's lovely. I love it. I love being on my own. I love being grown. I love doing what I want to do. I just, it's, I love it. But, you know, with that comes hardships. And, yeah, hopefully I can give a little advice to somebody who might be um I'm just yeah let's go ahead and finish this up Oh, I'm also using Zule uh, Bling Adhesive, Best Adhesive in my opinion. I told y'all this before. Um, I wanted to go ahead and put a little design going down the pointer finger, the index, because it just, yeah, I needed just a little more. I had some pink rhinestones, but y'all, I do not like these pink rhinestones. I love them. They look really pretty, but I have yet to been able to coordinate a set to where they just like pop like wow that was like i'm having a, a hard time understanding the assignment but trust me i'm gonna get it all right and i really think i have a fire halloween design for the pink rhinestones i don't know hopefully hopefully i will overcome it because i just be having these pink rhinestones sitting in here and they're so cute and i be wanting to use them but i just i don't know yeah, I'm gonna come up with something cute though. Let me uh, let me let me get back to let y'all watch him.
So yeah, this last rhinestone didn't fit. Hold on. It didn't fit, but it was close enough. I wasn't finna say here. I wouldn't finna stress myself about it. I was ready to go home. It was my sister anyway. <laughs> but it was still cute. You really could barely tell. Boom, pow. And here goes the finished product. Y'all ready? Hold on. Ta-da! And this concludes today's videos on these pretty hot girl pink flames. I'ma see y'all real soon with another video with a better application using my favorite monomer. So hopefully you guys tune in, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your support. As always, I'm really getting better. Thank you for bearing with me with these videos and letting y'all know all my products. I know I slack on that a little bit, but I'm going to try my best to have everything linked and researched ahead of time. All right. Love y'all.